The Minister of Health, Dr. Sagye Hanire, on Thursday urged religious leaders to make input as the federal government considers reopening of churches and mosques. Ehanire, who stated this in Abuja at a press conference of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19, said the commission has advised every society, organization, community, be it faith-based, cultural-based, professionally-based, to come up with guidelines for themselves. The Minister of Health ha added, the Ministry of Health is happy to advise and engage, but this needs to be led and owned by the leaders of those organizations. And now, Reverend Father Patrick Alumuku, the spokesperson for the Catholic Diocese of Abuja, joins us um, live. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. What's your reaction uh, to the federal government's uh, consideration uh, for churches and mosques to reopen for worship? Is it the right time or should we hang on just a little more? I think it's the right time. A couple of British uh, back. Cardinal John wrote an open letter to the government asking that churches uh, be reopened uh, and all places of worship, including mosques as well. Uh, the Archbishop of Abuja, uh, Archbishop Ignatius Kaigama, had also sent a memo to the government uh, saying that it is possible for churches to open now um, and they will do much better than um, the, the markets that have been opened and, and, the, and the banks and other places that have been opened uh, so far. So I think that the time has come. It's, um, we've been out of church for a little over two months now. We understand the, um, this virus much better. And um, I think that the regulations the church has put together will make it possible for us to reopen without infecting others, other people. At the moment, we have already have a lot of uh, community transmission. How worried are you that the church will be, and other religious organizations, will be able to put in place the necessary guidelines to protect people and help them refrain from spreading uh, the virus? I think that what is actually happening is that uh, there are people in communities who... Um, are not obeying any of the regulations uh, regarding um, the uh, social distancing and um, and so on and so forth. What we have done in Abuja in the last uh, couple of months uh, is that for the few religious exercises we've had, we have had to implement very strictly social, social distancing. I think in addition to that, the church is saying that they will have regulations regarding the washing of hands, the use of sanitizers, and social distancing in churches so that the churches will not be as full as they were in, in the beginning, um, and so, so that uh, we can avoid any cases of infection. Right. At the moment, the federal government is suggesting that individual organizations from mosques to uh, churches and other corporate organizations should come up with their own guidelines. Um, what do you think will uh, be the kind of guidelines that a church would come up with um, to meet the federal government's requirement? Well, we, we're asking that uh, churches should have... Um, an organized system where at the entrances to the church that people's temperatures are, are checked. And when they have been found to be in um, a good condition, they can go in and there will be places where they can have their hand washing. Um, and so their hands washed and then they can also have sanitizers. What we plan also is to ensure that at the end of every service that the, the seats and the church is to some extent sanitized before the next um, event or next celebration takes place in the church. You know, and then, as I said earlier, a strict um, um, a social distance will help a lot in curtailing the possibility of uh, any more infections. 
A quick thought on the role of the church so far in um, the work that the government and including the people are doing to contain the virus. How would you assess um, how um, the church has been able to work with government and other relevant stakeholders in the fight? From the point of view of the Catholic Church, um, as concerned as uh, the hierarchy of the church was, they offered over 400 of their hospitals uh, to be used as centers uh, for isolation um, and also for treatment uh, in the country. So uh, to that extent, the church is very concerned um, about what happens. The, the church has also its uh, personnel uh, who are taking care of um, uh, people who need any help in some of the most uh, needed areas, the cities and also in the villages. Um, I think that there's a lot more that we are concerned about. And what we're concerned about is that um, the markets and the banks um, are, are not actually being looked at carefully by um, by by the government uh, um, organization that is taking care uh, of the uh, of the COVID-19 uh, situation. We think that a little more should be done to ensure that the markets are better organized, that people are not mixing you know, all over the place, and that the banks are, are not um, a place where everybody can just go in like they did in the very first or second week after the relaxation of, of, the, of the regulations uh, in Abuja, uh, for example, so that uh, there's no contact among people. I think this will go a long way to ensuring that um, more people are not infected. Thank you very much, Reverend, for your time with us on the news. It is appreciated. My pleasure.